it's been a while since I've been on here and posted anything regularly and I'm so sorry this year has just been insanely busy. Um, so in the spirit of getting back into things, I want to give you guys a recap on what I've been up to. First, we got our high volume spay neuter clinic called the Space Shuttle up and running. Over 500 kittens have been fixed on the van and we hope to do so much more. While we were getting that up and running, our first very serious medical case came in. <laughs> This is Tama. She was having some very serious breathing issues. We took her to the emergency room where she had x-rays done and a full workup. She stayed at the hospital overnight and they figured out that she was in heart failure. They gave her a diuretic and she felt better almost immediately. We got her into UC Davis to see a cardiologist. Unfortunately, we found out that she does have a lot of defects in her heart. These defects are inoperable, so she is on hospice care. She has four medications that she takes twice a day, and she's unfortunately not expected to live much past her first birthday, which is coming up. Fortunately, she's doing great now, and so we're just going to enjoy the time we have left with her. This next one is personal. This is my dog, Infinity. I like to call her Finny. She wasn't feeling well for a couple days, so we took her to the hospital. There we found out she had a septic abdomen. This was a couple days before her 11th birthday, and with surgery, she would have a 50-50 chance of survival. Fortunately, she made it through the surgery, and recovery was a very long road. Thankfully, she made a full recovery, and she's doing great. My nonprofit kitten rescue mini cat town opened up a brand new adoption floor at Stanford Shopping Center in Palo Alto, California. Within two weeks of getting the keys, we had our grand opening. I must have blacked out because I don't know how we did it. It's all a blur. I'm totally kidding. We had an amazing team that helped. The weekend after our grand opening at Stanford, we had another big commitment. We took the space shuttle to Sonora, California. There we worked with a local nonprofit and veterinary team to fix 65 cats and kittens. This next case was really tough. Pisces was diagnosed with wet FIP and despite all efforts, the treatment didn't work for her and um, she unfortunately passed away. In between everything that's happening, we're still actively pulling from local and rural shelters, getting kittens out and placing them into foster homes until they're ready for adoption. Sandwiched in between all of that with the spay shuttle up and running, we are doing spay neuter surgery as often as we possibly can. Once things were a little bit calmer, I got myself some bottle babies who are of course now all grown up because time goes by so quickly. This is Ayame and he has FIP. He needed a lot of critical care and I really wasn't sure if he was going to live, but surprisingly he's doing really well. So yeah, it's been quite a lot and I just now feel like I'm catching my breath. And thank you for sticking with me and being so patient. I will see you in the next video.